Spain in the modern ages. Spain in the modern ages. The modern age started in 1492 and it finished in 1789 with the French Revolution. In 1492, Christopher Columbus discovered America. This year is considered to be the beginning of the modern age. It was a time of discovery when people's ideas about the world changed. Everything changed. We had a much better world compared with the Middle Ages. There were significant advances in economy, trade, politics and science. Explorers discovered new lands and routes around the world and brought back products that had not been seen in Europe before. As a result, sea trade flourished and Spain became a rich and important power. The discovery of America initiated the exchange of plants and animals between the continents. Here are some examples. Pineapple, pumpkin, tomato, vanilla, potato, cocoa beans, turkey, peanuts, silver. Some examples of exportation are the following. Cereals, honeybee, grapes, horses, or onions. When the Spanish arrived in America, they found a great variety of people. These were usually small tribes, but some groups had created big empires. The Spanish expeditions invaded their territories, imposing their language, culture, religion, and customs. The Mayas were organized as powerful city-states. They lived in Central America, in a region that is today Mexico, Belize, Guatemala and Honduras. They were the only American civilization that developed an advanced writing system. They were also very advanced in sciences such as astronomy, medicine and mathematics. The Aztecs were governed by an emperor. They lived in the region that is today known as Central Mexico. Their life was centered around religion. To honor their gods, they built temples in the shape of a pyramid. Most Aztecs were farmers. They cultivated corn, vanilla and tomatoes. The Incas lived in South America in the region that is now called Peru. Their capital city was Cuzco and their language Quechua. The Incas built a system of roads and used llamas to transport goods. Isabel I of Castilla and Fernando II of Aragon received the title of Catholic monarchs from the Pope after conquering the Kingdom of Granada. During their reign, they unified the Iberian Peninsula, reinforced royal authority and imposed the Catholic religion. The Spanish Inquisition was established. Its aim was to punish people who didn't follow the rules established by the Catholic Church. The first Spanish grammar book was published in 1492 by Antonio de Nebrija. The early modern age in Spain began with the marriage of Isabel I and Fernando II. In 1479, they united the Kingdom of Castilla and of Aragon and created one large powerful Christian kingdom. Then in 1492, they conquered the Kingdom of Granada. This was the end of the Reconquista. Christopher Columbus was an Italian navigator and explorer. He wanted to find a new sea route to Asia. Other navigators sailed around the coast of Africa, but Columbus decided to sail west 
across the Atlantic Ocean because he was convinced this was a shorter route. The Catholic monarchs financed his expedition, which led to the discovery of a new continent from a European point of view. Columbus promised to bring back gold, spices and silks from the Far East to spread Christianity and later on to lead an expedition to China. On the 3rd of August of 1492, the three caravels left Palos de la Frontera, Huelva, and on the 12th of October, 1492, arrived in San Salvador, an island in the Bahamas. Carlos I became king in 1516. He was the first Spanish king of the Habsburg dynasty. He ruled over a great empire which included Spain and its territories in America. He also inherited the German empire from his father's family. For this reason, he was also called Carlos V of Germany. His personal and national motto was Plus Ultra, which means further beyond. Before Carlos I died, he divided his empire into two kingdoms. He gave his German empire to his brother, Fernando. His son, Felipe II, inherited his Spanish empire, which included Spain and the Netherlands. Felipe II became king in 1556. In 1561, he established his permanent residence in Madrid. The Spanish Empire expanded under his reign, especially in America. In 1580, Felipe II conquered Portugal, which meant he controlled all of the Iberian Peninsula and also ruled over the Portuguese territories in America, Africa and Asia. The reign of Felipe II was also a period of wars and conflicts. Felipe II's armies won many important battles on land and at sea. In 1571, in the Battle of Lepanto, the Spanish fleet stopped the Turkish Empire from taking control of the Mediterranean Sea. However, these wars were very expensive, so the king had to use gold and silver brought from America to pay for them. The price of some products increased and the Spanish population became poorer. Spain in the Modern Ages Spain in the modern ages.